escaped from the wizard prison, Azkaban. No one's ever broken out before. Twelve years ago, Black murdered 13 people with a single curse. Well, at least we'll be safe at Hogwarts. What's wrong, Harry? Wrong? I overheard your dad talking about Sirius Black last night. The Ministry of Magic thinks he's after me. Black's escaped to come after you? Oh, Harry, you'll have to be really, really careful. Don't go looking for trouble. I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble usually finds me. But they'll catch him, won't they? I mean, they've got all the muggles looking out for him, too. Scabbers, come back! Can't you keep that monster under control? Calm down, Ron. You don't want to wake Professor Lupin. Don't worry, Ron. We'll help you find Scabbers. Oh, brilliant. Scabbers could have gone anywhere. Hi, Harry. I think I just saw Ron's rat run down the corridor. Oi, Goyle. Look who's here. Draco's looking for you, Potter. I think he's got you a nice surprise. Crookshanks doesn't understand that it's wrong to chase scabbers. There he goes! You can cast Alahamora to open that door, Harry. Hold down the left mouse button to activate your wand. Keep holding while you move the mouse to aim your wand. That's it! Alahamora! Take off the mouse button and you'll cast a spell! There he is! We can climb over this luggage, Harry. We just need to walk up to it and we'll be able to start climbing. We'll have to jump up to climb over those crates. Right then, you lead the way. Walk forward towards the crates and click the right mouse button to jump. Up these mighty boss beans. Fred and George will trade some wicked stuff for them at their shop. Hmm. I suppose we'll have to push this thing out of the way. Or one of us could cast a pulso. The pulso! Nice one, Riley. Right, now where's that rat of yours? A locked chest. There's usually something inside these. Alahamora! Alahamora's worth it, Hermione. Alahamora! Time to open it. All three of us. I'll start, and you two join in. Hello. Um, what's that thing? It's a gargoyle, of course. Cast Lumos at it, Ron, and a secret area will light up. Lumos. <laughs> Chocolate frog! 
This will help us get our strength back after that running with those books. I'm not so sure about this carriage. What, what, what's in those cages? We're definitely not supposed to be in here. We can't leave scabbers, can we? Come on, follow me. Well, look who it is. Hottie and the Weasel. I should have known the pathetic excuse for a rat had something to do with you. Draco Malfoy. So they put you in the creature's carriage, did they? Probably the only place you could find a friend. Actually, I do have a rather interesting friend I'd like to meet. Everyone play nicely now. Oh, no. What's that monstrous looking book? Actually, I believe it's a copy of the Monster Book of Monsters. Cast of the pages! We'll knock them out of the air, Harry! You finish the ball! Rick the Now. Ron, you really do need to work on the accuracy of your spell casting. A wizard card. I love collecting these. If we search around enough of Hogwarts, we could find all 80 collector's cards. We can look inside the Folio Universitas after picking up a collector's card. Press the escape key and click on the picture of the card at the top of the screen. Scabbers! Giving us a lot of trouble, you useless rat. Come on, let's get back to our compartment before we're missed. Serious black under our cloaks. Go! Harry! Are you all right? Yeah. What happened? What was that thing? A Dementor. One of the Dementors of Azkaban. We better head back. We'll be at Hogwarts in a few minutes. Are you sure you're all right, Harry? Fine. I'm fine. Harry, Ron and Hermione were delighted to be back at Hogwarts. Harry's encounter with the Dementor had caused him no serious harm other than a growing feeling of dread. The three friends hurried to their first class of the term, anxious to resume their lessons. I'm Professor Lupin, your new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Our first lesson involves the spell Carpe Retractum. Ron Weasley, would you please join me? Um, me? Are you sure? Uh, Hermione's loads better at spells. You'll do fine, Ron. Just step through this door to begin. Hello? Pr 
Professor Lupin? Welcome to the Carpe Retractum Challenge, Ron. There are ten challenge shields scattered throughout the challenge. Some are well hidden. Find all ten shields to earn a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. If you don't find all the shields your first time through, you can always come back. Complete the challenge by collecting the final shield. Let's get started. Carpe Retractum has two primary uses. To pull yourself towards something, or to pull something towards you. See if you can find a statue to cast the spell at. Then, watch what happens. Carpe Retractum! Excellent. You can also use Carpe Retractum to pull certain levers. See if you can find one on a wall and try it out. Carpe Retractum! A spongify tile! I think I remember how to use these. Um... Or maybe not. First, cast Spongify on the tile to make it bouncy. Spongify! Now, leap onto the tile to spring into the air. Remember, click the right mouse button to jump. <coughs> Carpe Retractum can also be used to pull things towards you. See if you can find something to cast at. Then climb up onto it. Carpe Retractum! You can jump over pits like this one, Ron. Hold down the forward arrow key to run towards it. When you get to the edge, continue holding the arrow key and press the right mouse button to jump. Carpe Retractum can also be used on certain ropes. Now give it a go. Carpe Retractum! Carpe Retractum! Professor Lupin, that thing doesn't look very friendly. That is an Impron. Beware. It might throw exploding wizard crackers. Spells may not be effective in this situation. Try not to let the wizard crackers touch you while they're in the air. When they land, you can pick them up. But be careful. If you're not quick enough, the crackers will explode. Go ahead, Ron. See if you can pick up a wizard cracker and throw it back at the imp. Now let's put your training to the test. Hello, test. Send it, Ron. All right, pumpkin pasties. These are worth a lot more than beans. Hello. Oh no! I hope that noise isn't what I think it is. Cake. I'll bet they're worth loads more than beans in Fred and George's shop. Hello, Morris. Hello, Morris.
too sure about this. Can't play with traps. Can't play with traps. Careful. It can shoot fire out of its, um, well, out of its backside. Cast Rick to Sempra to knock it over. Then cast again as needed to knock the fire crab into the trap. Rick to Sempra! Rick to Sempra! Rick to Sempra! Please tell me that's the way out! Rick to Sempra! Rick to Sempra! Rick to Sempra! Rick to Sempra! Rick the 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 Sempra! Ella Hamoris! Can't make me try to! Rick the Sempra! Rick the Sempra! Can't play with traps! Hello, Morris! Can't play with traps! Can't play retracting! 
Challenge shields, which means you get to visit the Bean Bonus Room. Wow! This is the Bean Bonus Room! That's right, Ron. Collect as many goodies as you can before the time runs out.
Carpe Retractum Challenge if you like, Ron. Or we could go exploring. You lead the way, Ron. Deposo! Deposo! It looks like this challenge is locked at the moment. Look, I think we've come out in the side chamber. I've heard about this room. These portraits provide shortcuts to every floor in the castle. I wonder how we can get the passwords. Harry Potter. Just the person I was looking for. Hello, Fred. Where's George? Upstairs, minding the shop. Early Christmas present for you, Harry. It's the Marauder's Map. It'll help you find your way around Hogwarts. Wow. Thanks, Fred. You can press the tab key on your keyboard to bring up this map at any time. Come on. Follow me upstairs. I'll lead you to the shop. George sell the most excellent chocolate frogs. I'm on my way up there now. Got to get my energy up for a Quidditch match. Sir Herbert Varney, 1858 to 1889. Short lived by undead standards, Victorian vampire who preyed upon women in London during the 1880s, was subsequently captured and killed by a special squad from the Department for the Regulation and Control of Magical Creatures. Amarillo Lestote, 1776 to 1977. Flamboyant American vampire, author of A Vampire's Monologue, intended to bore the reader into a stupor, making him or her easier prey for vampires. Lady Carmilla Sanguina, 1561 to 1757, bathed in the blood of her victims to retain her youthful beauty. Blodwin Blood, 1923 to unknown, known as the Vampire from the Valley, famous for singing to his victims in a sonorous bass baritone before biting their necks. Count Vlad Dracul, 1392 unknown, notorious vampire who inspired the fictional Count Dracula created by Bram Stoker, father of Vlad the Impaler. 